Socializing 70. I had a thought which I wanted to share. Since the passing of the righteous predecessors, the strength of the Muslim nation has weakened dramatically. It is logical that the greater the number of people in a group, the stronger the group will become. Yet Muslims have somehow defied this logic. The strength of the Muslim nation has only decreased as the number of Muslims have increased. One of the main reasons this has occurred is connected to chapter 5 al maida verse 2 of the Holy Quran. And cooperate in righteousness and piety, but do not cooperate in sin and aggression. Allah, the Exalted, clearly commands Muslims to aid each other in any matter which is good and not support each other in any matter which is bad. This is what the righteous predecessors acted on, but many Muslims have failed to follow in their footsteps. Many Muslims now observe who is doing an action, instead of observing what they are doing. If the person is linked to them, for example, a relative, they support them even if the thing is not good. Similarly, if the person has no relationship with them, they turn away from supporting them, even if the thing is good. This attitude completely contradicts the traditions of the righteous predecessors. They would support others in good irrespective of who was doing it. In fact, they went so far on acting on this verse of the Holy Quran that they would even support those they did not get on with, as long as it was a good thing. The other thing connected to this is that many Muslims fail to support each other in good as they believe the person they are supporting will gain more prominence than them. This condition has even affected scholars and Islamic educational institutes. They make lame excuses not to aid others in good, as they do not have a relationship with them, and they fear their own institution will be forgotten, and those they help will gain further respect in society. But this is completely wrong, as one only needs to turn the pages of history to observe the truth. As long as one's intention is to please Allah, the exalted, supporting others in good will increase their respect within society. Allah, the exalted, will cause the hearts of the people to turn to them, even if their support is for another organization, institution, or person. For example, when the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, departed this world, Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, could have easily challenged for the caliphate and would have found plenty of support in his favor. But he knew the right thing to do was to nominate Abu Bakr Sadiq, may Allah be pleased with him, as the first caliph of Islam. Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, did not worry about being forgotten by society if he supported another person. He instead obeyed the command in the verse mentioned earlier and supported what was right. This is confirmed in the narrations found in Sahih Bukhari, Numbers 3667 and 3668. The honor and respect of Umar bin Qatar, may Allah be pleased with him, within society, only increased by this action. This is obvious to those who are aware of Islamic history. Muslims must reflect on this deeply, change their mentality and strive to aid others in good irrespective of who is doing it, and not hold back fearing their support will cause them to be forgotten within society. Those who obey Allah, the exalted, will never be forgotten in both this world and the next. In fact, their respect and honor will only grow in both worlds. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.